damage in turn. Hello, this is KR Brickbot, and I'm catching up with my Hello Carbot review bucket list with Hello Carbot Kun Wave 2, released in September of 2018. Yeah, really good timing. This wave consists of Smilo Kun, Stek Kun, Pino Kun, and Bracky Kun. First, taking a look at Bracky Kun's packaging, Bracky Kun was with the first wave of characters in the show, but uh, the second wave toy wise. So, this little blurb uh, basically describes the episode he debuted in and the uh, English name right there, and a little bio on the side. And this one is a green background. The back shows his secondary gimmick. So, Brachycoon, a robotic Brachiosaurus. There are some pretty nice details here, that particularly that silver along the back makes it kind of look like an armored Brachiosaurus. And nice little stubby little legs painted with lime green throughout, lime green accents throughout. And a little bump on a Brachiosaurus head, which cleverly pops out like that, which unfortunately disappears when Lowering the neck. No opening mouth, unfortunately. A little stubby little tail. Nice crenellated details there. Several silver ridges, bolts, streaks. And a little, little fat belly. And the secondary gimmick. Pull back this lever for a little neck cannon. A neck water cannon. To transform this back, fold this up like this. The head is nice and tucked in there. Oops, there goes the head. Clip it in, fold that in, fold this in and in. Kino Kung does Spinosaurus. Yeah, it's not called Pino Kung or Spino Kung or Spino Kung, it's Pino Kung. So this one is on a yellow background with some trees back there. And he first debuted to play hide and seek. Yeah, that's what they went with. His secondary gimmick. This certainly looks like a Spinosaurus with a very elongated head. Although I'm wondering if it's a little too elongated, kind of makes it look like a different dinosaur or reptile. Some golden eyes there. It's a nice sky blue color with some red and gold throughout. And that little ridge tail on the back. Little legs and tiny little hands. And that fin. The fin is replicated like this, it's a rather thick fin, because it has to house a gimmick. And I suppose this mode is for an energy beam, energy ray beam. Oh look, you can do a little stand. Adorable. Adorable, then he lashes out. Okay, to transform this thing back. Fold that up in, 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 and in here. Double fold these feet. Click that in. Okay, make sure everything clicks in together. Standing egg mode. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I think I got it. Yep. Egg mode. 
Stekun the Stegosaurus. So he debuted alongside Pinokun and thus has the same little backstory there. Blue background. That's his secondary gimmick. And I got this bundled with a special 5 pack value set. So uh, yeah, I thought this box fell apart in two pieces, but the general idea is a six pack that is of five eggs and a UFO holder. So that consists of three Wave 2 Kung, one Wave 1 Kung, Terra Kung, and one Wave 3 Plek Kung. So this value pack retails for about 60,000 Korean won, which is a pretty good deal, a pretty good discount. Anything over that is not quite much of value pack. Stekun, the Stegosaurus. With fins that are forward and very far spread. Yeah, that is a very hollow space in there. And a very hollow gap. These, these back legs look a little cog-like ridges and some golden circular bits there. And tiny little tail spikes. And little floppy feet. No opening mouth. But that is a nice angular golden eye and silver plate top look. And, and these are also fins, I suppose. And also these little details, yeah. In total, looks like he has about eight sets. And some more silver ridges detail there. The secondary gimmick. Yeah, push this little button and this these tiny little cannons pop out. Again, this looks hollow enough to fit something in there. And to transform it. I think you have to do this first and fold these back and fold the head back, fold the head back in first. Okay, head over that. Then close up the ridges and a golden egg. A green egg with gold accents, that is. And bringing out the full blue chill, Smilokun, the Smilodon. So this was on a this one is on a blue background. He came because he wanted to meet him. There's the secondary gimmick. Boosters. And this was in the aforementioned five value pack and a watch and Smilo Kung value pack. So it was packaged like this and the watch came in a little blue compact box. So the back shows all the contents, including the Cretaceous period chip, which replaces one of the chips in the regular retail release of just this. Yeah, so this was kind of like a holiday. This was a holiday item. It was around Christmas time. So this was 60000 which is uh, just about the same price as this and this separately. So anything, anything over 60000 is not a value pack. So, Smilokun, a white and a blue Smilodon, or a saber-toothed tiger. He's so cold, he turned the entire set blue. It certainly looks the part, with a very robotic feline head and those long blue tusks or teeth, and a little blue nose, and cute little paws, silver here and some blue here. 
rear hind legs that are on one hinge and a very thick tail. Very flat, very thick. At least those wing kibble give him a nice silhouette. Really helps him bulk up the rest of the front body. But uh, yeah, the front and the back, they're looking rather hollow or spacious. Looking spacious enough to do this. Yeah, so you can put a bot bot or any other tiny little figure and have it ride on him. And his secondary gimmick. Pull back that lever, which releases these little boosters, as it says on the packaging. Not sure if that's gonna boost aerodynamics. Or they could be energy boomerang launchers. Whatever they are. Okay, and to transform back to egg mode. Fold that up, fold it in, fold these panels in. And the tail. A simple little white egg. So which one is the best looking one? Well, in my opinion, I would say Bracky Coon. It's a pretty cohesive dinosaur shape. Uh, Steg Coon here is looking a little too hollow, and uh, I suppose Spino Coon is a second runner up for the best looking. Although the proportions are a little off, it still looks like a pretty decent Robo Dino. And this one's not too bad either. So as I said, the best deal to get at least 3 out of 4 of these is to go for that 5-in-1 value pack. But anything over 60,000 Korean one is not a value pack, so uh... Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is KR Rickbot signing off.